given, give out, give away, so many phrasal verbs. I give up. Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, I am Georgiana, your English teacher and founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. And I am here to help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Today, we are going to talk about phrasal verbs with the verb give. Many of you have asked for a new phrasal verbs episode, so I'm sure you're excited about it. Apparently, everyone wants to learn new phrasal verbs. And with a mini story, you will improve your fluency. I will ask you many questions that you need to answer right away. It's like speaking English with another person. But before I get started, I wanted to thank you for listening to my podcast. It's been four years since I released the first episode. And since then, I've received a lot of support. And because I want you to learn English three times faster, I have created a video course. Visit my website, speakenglishpodcast.com and get my video course for free. Okay, let's get started. Number one, to give something away. It means to give something for free as a gift or donation. Examples They give away a free chocolate bar for every $100 you spend in the supermarket. Tina gave her old clothes away when she lost weight. Number 2. To give oneself or somebody else away. It means to show where somebody is or what they are doing when they are trying to keep it a secret or to unintentionally reveal something about yourself that you don't want anyone to know. In short, to give somebody away means to betray them. Examples Mia smiled, but her voice gave her away. Tom gave away classified information to the competition. Number 3. To give in. It means to accept that you are defeated, to surrender. Or, in some cases, to give in means to finally agree to what someone wants after refusing for some time. Examples After being surrounded, the enemy gave in. My son insisted so much that I buy a cell phone, I finally gave in. Number 4. To give out. We use this phrasal verb to say that something stops working correctly or becomes weak. Examples. After running for 30 minutes, my legs finally gave out. The students wouldn't listen, so his patience finally gave out. Number 5. To give something over to somebody. It means to give responsibility for something to somebody. Examples. Our boss gave most of his work over to his assistant. The assistant gave herself over completely to her work. Number 6. To give up. This phrasal verb means to stop trying to do something, to surrender. Examples. Because of health problems, he was forced to give up his job. Everybody knows my mom never gives up. 
Number seven. To give somebody up. It means to allow someone to be captured by the police or surrender oneself to the police. Examples: When he was surrounded, the criminal gave himself up. She remorsefully gave herself up to the police. Let's listen to the phrasal verbs we learned today. Give something away. Give someone away, give in, give out, give up, give somebody up, and give something over to somebody. Before I move on to the next section, go and get the transcript of this episode at speakenglishpodcast.com/podcast. Do you know how you can help me? You can share the podcast with your friends and family, and tell them to go to speakenglishpodcast dot com and get my free mini course. That would mean a lot to me. Thanks. Okay, let's continue with a mini story. A mini story is very simple but really powerful. I ask easy questions on purpose so that you can simulate a conversation. It's like talking with another person in English. Let's start. Jake was a hacker, and he had an exciting but very reclusive life. Was Jake an actor? No, no, he was a hacker. Did he have a boring life? No, no, his life wasn't boring. Was Jake's life reclusive or sociable? Reclusive. His life was reclusive. One day, he fought with his only friend, who gave him away to a private detective. Did Jake fight with the police? No, no, Jake fought with his friend. Did Jake's friend give him away to the police? No, no, Jake's friend gave him away to a private detective. How many friends did Jake have? Only one. Jake had only one friend. How many friends did Jake have after the fight? None. Jake had no other friends after he fought with his only friend. To whom was Jake given away? To a private detective. Jake's only friend gave him away to a private detective. Whose friend gave Jake away? Jake's friend. Jake's only friend gave him away to a private detective. The private detective found the hidden door that led to Jake's secret house. Did the private detective find a hidden treasure? No, no, he didn't find any hidden treasure. The private detective found a hidden door. 
Was Jake's home secret or public knowledge? Jake's home was secret, not public knowledge. He led a reclusive life. Jake didn't want to give himself up, so he tried to escape. However, his car gave out. Did Jake try to escape? Yes, he tried to escape. He attempted to escape. Did Jake give himself up? No, no. Jake didn't give himself up. He didn't want to turn himself in. Whose car gave out? The private detective's car? No, no. The private detective's car didn't give out. Jake's car gave out. It stopped working. After capturing Jake, the private detective gave him over to the police. Did the private detective give him over? Yes, the private detective gave him over to the police. To whom did the private detective Give him over. To the police. He gave Jake over to the police. After two hours of interrogation, Jake finally gave in and gave away all the information. For how long was Jake interrogated? For two hours. The police interrogated him for two hours. Who finally gave in? The private detective? No, not the private detective. Jake finally gave in. He stopped resisting. Did Jake give away something? Yes. After two hours of interrogation, Jake gave away all the information. Perfect. It's the end of this mini-story. As you can see, through questions and answers, you can practice and improve your speech just like in a real conversation. This is one of the techniques that I use in my premium courses. I recommend you take a look at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, this is the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help you with your English. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.